Okay, today I'm going to rehouse my Kilobrachys fimbriatus. This is a female tarantula. It is also known as the Indian violet. Uh, she did molt uh, a couple weeks ago, so she should be beautiful. All of her coloring should be bright. Should be able to see the violet tinge that she'll have. I'm going to put her into a bigger container. She has grown quite a bit since I got her, so let's, uh, let's go and do that. So I'm going to move her from this enclosure right here over into that one. Check out my giant tongs. I think you've seen them before if you watched my last video. Probably don't <clears throat> need that water dish. She can just use this one. I see she's starting to come out. See if I can get her to go in there. So I'm hoping I can just put my paintbrush down into here and she's gonna come out in here into this little catch cup. I can see her already poking out. Come on, run up. You go, girl. Come on. <clears> okay, <throat> hey, I'm going to take my bamboo tongs here. Put them in. Got most of her body. It's not her little butt. Come on, take your butt. Take your butt in there. She's very pretty. <clears throat> I was going to use a bigger catch cup, but I figured I saw her poking out there and I figured she probably wouldn't need it. Take your foot, too. So here she is. Get a better view of her. Yeah. It's a very, very pretty tarantula. And now I'm just going to get her down into her new home. I wanted to show you her webbing. It's quite extensive, it's very tough. You can hear it breaking apart. She's been in this enclosure not quite a year. I got her a little bit over a year ago. She likes to incorporate a lot of her leaves into her web, so I gave her a lot of options and she has a burrow there. Moved some of the web from her old enclosure and some of this is the substrate there were a lot of dwarf white isopods in there so i moved those over and i'm sure there are probably some more in her old enclosure um, but i am going to take this substrate and put it into an isopod so isopod bed and i'm i'll be curious to see how much she digs and how much she webs but boy she is gorgeous okay look at her what a pretty girl I'm gonna get her to go down inside of her new burrow. Accidentally using a cup that doesn't have a hole in the bottom of it. My other one has a hole drilled in the bottom of it, so it's a little easier. 
All right, she is not wanting to come out of here. <clears throat> I'm really missing my, my cup that has a hole in the bottom of it. Just trying to tickle her feet, but she doesn't seem to care. <laughs> Uh, okay, she's coming out. Come on, girl, you're almost there. Just barely pressing on her. She's just balling up even more. Come on, don't go back. Don't go back. Come on, let's go out. Look, you've got your new spot. You've got your moss and your webbing. And then, then I'll just completely leave you alone. See that? Go on. Okay, here she comes. Here she comes. I don't really want her to come this way. I want her to go down into her burrow. Okay. She's taking a walkabout. There she is. She was coming up over the edge. You couldn't see. You didn't get to see it. Unfortunately, I do not have a tripod right now. This makes things a little bit difficult. Not having a tripod. Let's go around this side. So we can get a good look at her. There she is. There we go. Wow, look at how pretty she is. Look at her. Pretty incredible, beautiful. Wow, I don't get to see her very often. In fact, over the whole year that I've had her, this is the best look that I've had. The best view I've had of her. Pretty. I know you're nervous. Almost. You almost went down there. Okay, well, I think she's probably had enough of me. Well, that was my Kilobrachis fimbriatus. And uh, that went pretty well. I really enjoyed her little walkabout. And uh, that was fun. And I'm glad she didn't panic and bolt. Um, she's all rehoused and good, so uh, I'd say that's a success.